Given that the vapor pressure of toluene is 100 mm mercury at 51.94 degree and 200 mm mercury at 69.5 degree, a gas that consists of 10 mol percent toluene and the balanced non-condensable component is contained in the tank at 80 degrees Celsius and 1000 mm mercury, calculate the dew point of the gas and the degree of superheat. Well, as the problem given that 90% of the component is non-condensable, therefore the dew point of the gas is only determined by the dew point of the toluene, because only toluene can be condensed. First, let's assume that the system is at equilibrium state, so the mole fraction do not change with time. Then, the partial pressure of toluene gas is equal to the mole fraction a toluene, as given, times the system pressure. So you got 0.1 times 1000 mmercury, you get 100 mmercury. And we know that the system temperature is 80 degree, and the vapor pressure, we can calculate that using Antony's equation. Then from table B4, we can find the constant using in this equation, A, B, and C. Then substitute this equation we get log 10 vapor pressure 80 degree system temperature is equal to A minus B over T plus C. Then we got 2.464. Vapor pressure of tolerant at system temperature is 10 to this power. Then we get 291 mmercury. Then we find that the partial pressure we just calculated is less than the vapor pressure at the system temperature. That's because toluene vapor is superheated vapor. So the superheated toluene vapor must have passed the dew point. So dew point must be less than the system temperature. Well, we also know that at the dew point, the partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure at the dew point. And we already calculate the partial pressure is 100 mm mercury. And from the promise statement, we found that the vapor pressure of toluene is exactly 100 mm mercury at 51.94 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we can conclude that the dew point is 51.94 degrees Celsius. The degree of superheat is the temperature difference between the system temperature and the dew point which is 80 minus 51.94 degrees Celsius, and you got 28.06. In this problem, you don't always have to calculate the vapor pressure at the system temperature. The reason I calculate that is because I want to show you how to determine if the toluene vapor is superheated at the system temperature or not. Obviously, because of the partial pressure of toluene is less than the vapor pressure of toluene at the system temperature, so we can conclude that the toluene vapor is superheated.